We are now connecting an expatriate in Mississippi to know the latest update of U.S. coronavirus situation. Ahmed Shatil, what is the present situation of U.S.? DBC, the current situation you have told already that uh, U.S. seen the biggest uh, of uh, uh, infected rate today and the death rates as well but i'm not going to do i'm not going to go over there rather i would tell you some few points that the situation is getting worse every day because the new cities are getting in line uh, after new new york the new uh, epidemic uh, epicenter of the USA would be uh, Detroit. That has been told the media by the US government. And the, there are another thing I would like to share with you that uh, in the last day, uh, I mean, the last day, the Thursday, the US Labor uh, Department, they said more than 50 lakhs, uh, I mean, 5 million, more than 5 million people in the USA, they lost jobs. So this is not only taking the toll on the human lives, this is also taking the uh, toll on the uh, economic uh, uh, spectrum of the USA as well. Besides states, what extra measures U.S. government has taken? I think you just already shared that about the 3M company that you have, U.S. has banned uh, the, uh, the supplies to Canada and other countries, the N95 mask. Mask. Uh, the tr Donald Trump, the president, he just uh, signed the Defense Pro Production Act, which was which actually allows him, I mean, any president of the USA to uh, shut off the uh, export to other countries uh, for the national security. And at the same time, Donald Trump yesterday told that uh, the 9,000 former military medical officials, they have been pledged to work with the U.S. Uh, medical system because uh, the overall system has been collapsing every day. The new uh, hospitals are urging the federal government to provide more and more supports. One thing more I would like to share that is pretty much concerning that uh, FEMA uh, and the U.S. military, they asked, uh, uh, they are actually preparing more than one lakh body bags for the deaths. It means the death tolls might not be stopped and that's why they're preparing themselves.